Hello everyone, Captain Will Ware, Program Manager, Flight Tech Mobility here. And today I'd like to share some very exciting news about a new tool available on your EFB from Jeppesen called Airport Moving Maps, or AMM for short. Many of you remember the old paper Jeppesen en route charts that we used to use, but then we switched to dynamic and interactive en route maps inside of the Jeppesen application. Well, for the past four years, numerous teams at Southwest and Jepson have worked really hard to provide you with this new enhancement, and we just signed the contract. So instructions on how to install this update for your EFB are available in the EFB alert in Comply. Now, when you select Taxi on the left-hand toolbar, you'll see a new option at the bottom right corner, a toggle between Chart and AMM. Both are approved for use and either may be viewed during taxi operations as specified in FOM 3.4.2. So now when I press AMM, I get a new taxi view. And as you can see, the depiction is scalable and provides much more detail than the old 10.9, including taxiway markings, runway markings, and even gate information. Once zoomed in on the gates, you can long press on the gate that you're interested in, and that will open up a dialog box. At the bottom, you can select that gate and it'll turn green. Now in a future version of this application, our nav team will be able to populate this dialog box with specific information about that gate. You can close the dialog box by hitting the X. In a similar fashion, you can select a runway. So I'm going to long press on 16 right, and the dialog box will come up asking you for 16 right or 34 left. I'll select 16 right, and now you'll see information about the runway that's similar to what you would see on the back of a 10-9. You can select the runway at the bottom of the dialog box, hit the X, and now my runway and my gate are selected. Now to deselect a runway, long press, select the runway, and you can deselect. One safety enhancement of AMM is even if you zoom in, you can see that the runway identifiers are always in view, and this helps you maintain situational awareness and reduce runway incursions. So I have selected Seattle specifically for this demo. With runway 16 right selected, on the right hand side, you'll see a menu of various filters you can use on AMM. So I'm going to select low vis because as we know, this airport does have SMIGS operations. So with that low vis selected, there's a caret that I can open and I can say, we're doing arrivals and we are less than 500 RVR. And what you'll see with AMM is as you zoom in, it automatically draws the low vis chart for you given that runway and the conditions. So you'll see that on 16 right, Papa is not available as an exit point, but Quebec is. And it even shows you the direction and the lights in the taxiway. There are two other filters. I'm going to turn off low vis and turn on wingspan. Obviously in Seattle, there's not a restriction for wingspan, but there may be a charter or an offline divert where um, that may play. Uh, into your benefit. And then there is landing distance. So with the selected runway, it'll show you what the distance is um, to these turnoffs. So lastly, let's cover communications in NOTAMs. When you look at your 10-9, you can see all of your communication frequencies at the top of the chart. Well, in AMM, since it's dynamically drawn, those comm frequencies are not in the view, However, you have them available via the comms button. So both departure and arrival frequencies are there as a resource for you. 
And then we get to no tams. So the no tams button was there before AMM, but you're probably wondering, well, why can't I see graphical no tams, meaning a taxiway or a runway that's closed seen on AMM? And I can guarantee you that that is something that Jepson is working very hard on, and we hope to see that in a very near future version of the app. Like I mentioned earlier, this project has been in the work for many years with many people helping make it happen, and we're very happy to be able to provide it to you today. For a full review of AMM features, you can tap the settings gear inside the JEP FD Pro app, then click help and accessing terminal information. If you have any additional questions or feedback, feel free to contact us at efb at wnco.com or pilotqna at wnco.com.